Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 18, Problem Set. The directions here for number 1 state, read each story problem, identify the unknown quantity, and write the addition or subtraction ex expression that is described. Finally, evaluate your expression using the information given in column 4. So, we're going to be reading some story problems, and here's an example. Uh, the description of the units, the expression, and then we're going to substitute in using this statement right here to get our answer over here. So our expression is going to be kind of important because for each of these statements, you could have two expressions. And I'll show you what I mean uh, for the first one that we'll look at, which is uh, number three. The third one down. So, Lisa. Lisa has been dancing for three more years than Danica. So, there's two different expressions. If I knew Lisa's age, so if I have L here, and I'll, uh, I'm going to put this over in the uh, expression piece. So, if I'm L, which is Lisa, She's been dancing for three more years than Danica. If I take away three from Lisa, that'll equal Danica. If I have Danica, then I know I have to add three to get Lisa. So depending on which one they give us, uh, if they give us Danica, we're going to use this. If they give us Lisa, we're going to use this. And we can look right here to see, and it says Danica has been dancing for six years. So I know that when they give me how long Danica has been dancing, it means I'm going to be using the one with the D because uh, we're going to let D uh, stand for or represent the number of years that Danica has been dancing. So there's my statement uh, for the description with the units. And I know that I can cross off this one right here because this is the one I'll be using because they've given us Danica. So I'm using D plus 3. And now I can substitute in for my variable, which is 6, because that's the number of years Danica has been dancing. So 6 plus 3 is 9. Now all I need at the bottom is my... Uh, quick answer statement that says uh, Lisa has been dancing for nine years. So we're going to use this uh, framework for the next one down below of how we're going to solve this. So we'll take a look at the fourth one down which is the New York Rangers. So let's read that. The New York Rangers scored two fewer goals than the Buffalo Sabres last night. And before I go to do my description with the units and the expression, I'm going to take a look at the fourth column and see which unit we're talking about. And it says the Rangers scored three goals. So my units are going to be, uh, or my statement will be, for this description with units, about the Rangers. So the statement I'll use is, let R represent the number of goals the Rangers scored. And that'll help me out because then when I put that variable in, I can substitute in my 3 for it to solve. So that's how I'm getting my units is by looking at this statement over here. And then we'll talk about what the other expression could be if they gave us sabers. So there's my description of units. The expression is R something with R. So the New York Rangers scored two fewer goals than the Sabres. So if the Rangers scored a certain amount, I would have to add two to get the Buffalo Sabres amount because the Rangers are two less than. So if I add two to the Rangers, I should equal the Buffalo Sabres. So for this uh, show my work, I'm going to use R plus 2, and it says the Rangers scored three goals last night. 
So 3 plus 2, and that's going to get me 5. And what that means is uh, the Sabres scored 5 goals. Um, now, if we go back and take a look at the expressions real quick uh, for this one, based on the statement, the New York Rangers scored two fewer goals than the Buffalo Sabres last night. And had they have given us the Buffalo Sabres, we could have done B minus 2 to get the Rangers. So there's always going to be two expressions for each of these statements. Um, but when you go through to do the rest of these, um, I would look into column four, this column here, the evaluate the expression if, to help you out with your expression, because you only have to write one expression, one description with units. But it's good uh, to understand that there could be two of them, depending on um, which way you're looking at uh, the statement. So I hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.